Welcome back everyone. In this session, let us discuss about distance weighted KML for a real value target function. Let us see. In the earlier session, we have seen for discrete value target function. Right Now let us discuss about a real value target function. I'll just show you the changes where you have to be careful with. This is the example what we have done. If you have not watched this, uh, please watch this video and then come back to this. So coming to the algorithm part, it is similar to what we have learned earlier, okay? So this part is common for all the KMN. The only part that is getting changed over is this particular part, okay? So whenever a new instance is given, we will be calculating F cap of X cube. So here to calculate that, the formula is summation of I ranging from 1 to K, where K is the value that will be given in the problem and that we will be multiplying with w i and f, f of x i okay so here you you see it is only f of x i that is the change earlier also we have taken w i but it is do v comma f of x i but here we are taking only f of x i because our function is a real value target function it is not a discrete valued one since it for a discrete value target function we need some real value so we are applying a dough function on it and taking a numerical value of it. But here we have a real value target function. So directly we are taking f of x. You should remember that. That should be divided with sigma w i value. So where calculation of w is similar to the last problem, which is 1 by distance square. So here we are considering all the training example instead of taking a simple one. And here also we will be observing two cases that I will be telling you at the end of the example. Okay, so I, so this is the example that we have taken. Okay, here just these, la, you can observe the change in this last column. This is our target. Okay, only that is changed. Rest all are same. Okay, in the, for the weightless, I have assigned some numerical value instead of a label data. And for this, Again, I have calculated the distance and 1 by distance square. If you observe the values are the same, only the change is here. Okay. All the process is similar to what we have done in the last. The same D calculation and 1 by D square calculation. And now we have to calculate. We have identified three nearest neighbors also. Okay. So based on the least value that we have obtained, we have identified three nearest neighbors. Here K value is 3. So we took three nearest neighbors. You can see the color differentiation. Okay. So now what we have to do is you have first letter for the simplicity first let us submit the weights associated with this. Okay. So let's calculate sigma wi. This is 0 0.925, 0 0.67, plus 0 0.81. So if you summate all these things, we are getting a value of 2.405 and calculation of f of f cap of x cube, the new instance. It is wi multiplied with f of x i. What is the f of x i value for the first nearest neighbor? It is 2.1. Okay, multiplied with the weight 0 0.925. Next, next nearest neighbor is 1.11. Okay, so what is the f of x i value that is associated, it is 2.4, weight is 0 0.81, you can see here, plus the third one, the f of x i value is 2.5, the weight associated with this is 0 0.67, so it is 0 0.67 into 2.5, okay. So if you summate all these things and divide with sigma w i, you are getting a value of 2.3. So this value will be assigned to the new instance. Okay, so here, two things you should consider. So when the same, when this process we are applying, it is local only to three examples, only three samples we are considering and based on that, we are giving a decision, right? We are classifying. In, in spite of that, you can also consider all the examples instead of taking only the nearest, suppose if the K value is not given in that case. Okay, so yeah, we have seen that an average the square root of all these things can be taken and we can take the k value or else I can consider all the examples also that we are calling as a global method. Okay. 
So local method is only if you are taking associated examples of k value. So here k is 3. If I consider only 3, that is my local method. Here totally I have 10, 10 examples or 10 instances. If I consider all these 10 that I call as a global method, that also we can use. And you can use the same formula and same procedure. So if you are using like that, if you are considering all the training examples in order to classify the new instance, okay, so that we are calling as global method and it is given by Shepard. So we call this method as Shepard's method, okay. So I'm giving you each and every minute detail because if that is the paper also, you should be able to answer happily. Thanks for watching and I'm happy to share that uh, my channel has reached 100 hours of watch time with all your support. Thanks for your love. And uh, keep watching. Do like, share and subscribe. Please pass it on to more and more of your friends who you are in need. Thank you.